always got the nets off for the first time since spotting that bloody herring. Um, thank you for all your comments about suggestions for nets, um, ideas. Some people mentioned similar to what Wright he's done on his. Um, a couple of people have mentioned about putting the first bit guards across across the top, which does look quite smart. Um, don't know what I'm going to do yet. I did buy a pile of netting, so probably for now, I'm just going to do something with the net that I've got. And, uh, but I do like the sound of those plastic guards, in fairness. Tiny bit of foam on the pond. I'm finding that most mornings, just a little bit of foam on the pond. Not really feeding much, twice a day. That's all I'm feeding. My temps, don't know if you can see that. Still 10 degrees. So, water temps in uh, South Wales are crap at the moment. I have seen it going up to about 12 on a nicer day, but they still hold in 10. So the fish are still not liking that too much. Still getting a couple of sulk in as well. I don't know if I need to do another scrape. That fluke solve. I put two doses in. I don't know. I don't think it's the best stuff. Unless I should have perhaps done a PP first to get a bit of the mucus off the fish after the winter. Um, may try a PP next weekend in you. I'll probably do a scrape first. Sorry about the wind guys. Shitty weather again. I think I'll throw a small bit of food on them for them yet today. Alright, coy mates, just clean the filters out at the moment. Been brushing that through. So much rain lately, these are full, so giving them a nice clean down. I'm gonna do tab two next. May even do tab three. I normally do tab three on uh, every other three to four weeks, so probably do tab three as well this time. So it's just draining off there now. Catch you in a bit. Just put a tiny bit on for now. little grow on ones uh, are starting to grow I've noticed they are they are starting to get a little bit bigger now uh, the three I've got left got the air turned off a minute Showers working well at the top there. It looks a lot better without that guard on the front as well. I'll tell you what I have noticed though. This paint that you can buy for these um, decking boards is crap. As soon as you have a few, you know, well, let's say a few, it does piss down for quite a while but once you have some heavy downpours it, it soon starts taking the paint off so that needs redoing again I'm going to put another coat on the back as well when I get once the weather breaks another one more coat of that to see there just cleaned the skimmer out I don't know if you've seen my video Months ago, I don't know if you can quite see it in there. Since I put the big bow under this, I tell you what, it don't half make a difference. It, it can pull the like gal, and I've only got the pump turned up a small amount. Just to put down a touch there. 
kita ke mana See that pulls a lot better now. Look at that the pump I got on. It's pretty much on the minimum setting. It does need a little bit more water, but then I need to push it down a touch. But it's pulling in nicely a minute, so I'll just leave it do that for a second. Fish coming to have a nose again, as they usually do. done a um, pH in the cage test pH is still fine after all that rain um, but my KH is down now it's only two drops not three sorry um, before it changes color so I'm gonna put some buffer in today I'm gonna get some bicarb in now shortly there you are that's come up now but what I've been doing as well is getting a bit of cork underneath and it just keeps just helps it float to the top a little bit more and helps it pull better so it's a little tip of what I've been putting under that skimmer right let's crack on I'm gonna go and get some bicarb and then crack on clean these filters right guys that's how much bicarb I put in at a time um, and what I do now, I just turn off my valve there. Just leave that drain down a touch. And just pour it in. Okay, I leave it circulating there now for... Leave it circulating there a couple of minutes. And then open the valve back up. Happy days. Just having a swell a minute. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is running gut across there, perhaps two or three rows of gut. I don't go over that side much, so if I put tight gut across there, that should help. I'm still going to put my covers on the pond, obviously, but um, just trying to be extra extra precautions for the minute so yeah just having a coffee now and uh let me get that then i got that feeding station out to the pond it's, it's not really working for me um so i've taken it out the minute i've got to get my feeder back on at some point i don't know when to start like you say i'm trying to feed them twice a day i don't know when to start feeding them a little bit more I think I'm going to get some uh, gel or bombs to put in the filters just to help them, give them a kickstart. I haven't done that this year yet, so I think I'm going to do that first and then get my feeder back on. Anyway, let's crack on. Since I put that little return coming back into the pond going that way, you can see it now with that little bit of foam on the water. Look, it does actually push it down this way. And then it comes down this way, um, down towards the skimmer. So angling that does, has helped in fairness to it. Right, guys, mates, so I've uh, put a net on here. I put it on the staple gun. Goes right the way across. And i got to be honest, when you stand further away from the pond, you can't even see it. So I may leave that one on. I know I'll have to take it off if I need to go in the pond, but I may leave that section on, on the shallower water. I've ended it where it comes to the skimmer look so I can easily clean that out. So yeah, I may leave that. And I'll show you from the front, you can't even see it on there. It's absolutely pouring down, you know, again. 
What a day for messing about. There we are, when you've only got the one day to do it, you've got to get it done, guys. Right, let's just finish off. My lilies are starting to come on nicely now. That'll help with the night bright as well. That'll help uh, control that. So once these get underway, that'll be something else that'll help. A couple of people asked me for shout out the other week. Um, one was Amanda Blackshields, quite a new channel. They asked me if I give them a little shout out, so have a little watch of their channel, it's worth a look. Um, the other one was DT Koi, um, another good channel worth watching. So there you are, guys. Promise you a shout out. If anyone else wants one, let me know. Right, coming mates, following day. Um, then a parameter check after all that rain, as I mentioned earlier. But the, my night right was almost up to 0.5, which is too high. So, um, and I'm noticing a couple of my white that fish have got a little bit of redness in the, it looks like veins coming on them. So I'm, I think it's because the nitrate is too high. So I've ordered some um, nitrate lowerer, which I'm hoping to get tomorrow. Um, for a minute, I'm doing like a 30% water change. Um, which I'm hoping may reduce it a bit for now, but yeah, I'm gonna add some uh, right, right remover in there. I'll keep you updated. Right, guys, it's now Tuesday. I've been doing a. I did drain it down about probably 30%, 35%, perhaps, because um, the night right was a little bit high. I've just tested it now and it, it's down to zero so I've got a, as you can see, trickling slowly back in there. Um, it's taken two days of that pace just to get back to you so I have taken quite a bit of water out and like I say, night right is now zero again. Um, all my other parameters there are all good. KH is good, um, pH, ammonia, night right, night right. All, all no good, so I'm just gonna throw a bit of food on. Um, so yeah, I put, put this gut correctly, fighting for that today. I've put a bit of gut around the edges, like I said, um, just as extra protection. Um, and like I said, look that net down the bottom, you can't even really see it. And I, so I'm going to leave that one on across the back. It looks uh, it looks good because you can't see it. So I'm just going to leave these covers here for now. But I am going to, I am considering the splash guards. I think they, they would look really nice, but um, something to consider. It's just starting to get a lot more uh, active for food. But um, I'm only feeding them the twice a day. So let me know what you guys are feeding. Now my temps today have gone up, actually gone up to 14. So it's a little bit better than where it's been. So let me know what you guys are doing. If you're actually feeding. I'm like still on the... Um, garlic weed germ anyway I'm not I'm not on the growth stuff yet I know it's a bit too cold for that anyway guys I'm gonna end this video there sorry the nets have been on for this one but uh, I'll catch you on the next one all the best now